it's time to break out of the house load up my bug out moto van with my motorcycle and stuff and hit the road let's go for a ride subscribe today right now we're living in turbulent financial times with inflation high high housing costs i mean the median house price is over four hundred thousand dollars here in the united states which is crazy and as a result rents are skyrocketing there's going to be a wave of evictions food costs have gone up it's it's expensive to survive out here now and a lot of people are looking for cheaper options to live the reason why i built this chevy express uh, bug out moto van which i took a chevy express cargo van and turned it in to an RV basically and I paid less than ten thousand dollars including the cost of the van the van was like three thousand dollars and I spent the rest in building out the van which you could do it a whole lot cheaper than I did but I put a lot of cool stuff in here um, but a lot of people are turning to doing a van build a bus build etc um, so that they can live out on BLM government land for free you could save a ton of money a lot of people are doing it right now for those of you guys that want to see the full tour that I did on this bug out moto van I'll include the link in the description and comment section of this video and if you want to do a van build yourself and you want to get stuff that I use to build this van if you go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my van stuff that's links to all the stuff I use to build this van and by the way the cost of the van and the build was less than ten thousand dollars guys and this is a Chevy Express 3500 this has got the biggest V8 engine in it. I love this van, guys. I think everybody should have a bug out moto van because I tell you, if things get bad and you, you say you lose your house or you get kicked out of your apartment or whatever, it's nice to have a van set up like this where you can go live in it and live off grid and save a lot of money and enjoy having a good time out there too man I've been on bug out van trips and I had an absolutely amazing time if you want to see the playlist on all the videos I did on my last two trips that's also my website at cyclecruiser.com but it's time for me to get the heck out of Dodge and head out to Tennessee and live out of my van in various places out in the mountains of Tennessee. I want to see how it is living out there first out of my van. And if I like it out there, looking to buying a property or some land and building an off-grid setup and take you along for the ride. And also I'm thinking about swinging back to North Carolina mountains. I never really got a chance to thoroughly explore the area. On my bug out van trip back in 2020 to the North Carolina mountains, I'm so sorry I didn't buy this nine acre property in the North Carolina mountains that abutted the national forest with thousands of acres, unrestricted land. I could have bought it for 195,000 and now it's worth close to half a million dollars. And there's an abandoned amusement park in the mountains that you actually have to hike the mountain to get to and some other abandoned places and ghost towns. And if you know of any cool ghost towns or abandoned places or haunted places or any super haunted places you want me to stay in, leave a comment below and tell me where to go. I'll do it. I'm game. You know what I'm saying? I stayed in the most haunted hotel room in America at the Stanley Hotel at Estes Park, guys. And I captured haunted phenomena on camera. That stuff doesn't freak me out. I find it more intriguing than anything, but... I'll do anything. Leave a comment below. Just have a good time on my trip and share the experience with you guys. You can literally use this van to live and work out of. Using it as a cargo van and as living space. And as a garage for your motorcycle as well. So I'm going to load it up with all the stuff. And you're going to see just how much this van can hold, man, with this setup. See, check it out. Look at all this stuff I got in here, man. Still got tons of space. I tell you, I love this van. I think everybody should have a bug out moto van, man. Because <laughs> you know, if, if shit goes down and things get bad, you know, you could always go in your, your van and go live in it and work out of it with this particular van. And uh, put your motorcycle in here. You got your, it's like a little garage up in here and uh, living quarters. Uh, you get free electricity from the, the solar panels. Uh, you can go get free water out of uh, restrooms. You know, I did videos I showed you. I took bug out van trips and and I got free water. Time to do a drop off. Get rid of all this shit.
riding around here like I'm Sanford and Son. <laughs> all this junk, man. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> I feel sorry for the workers here, man. They're going to have to sort through a whole lot of stuff. But it should help them out. They can resell a lot of this stuff, man. And like I said, I have a van build series to show you how to do a build like this if you want to uh, do a build yourself on the cheap. Uh, nobody has tens of thousands of dollars to buy the latest, you know, uh, even an old RV they want a ton of money for right now. Really, it, you want to build it yourself and it'll be a lot better than some of those cheap chinzy RVs. But for now, it's about planning my trip to head out on the road. A lot of you guys ask me about buying a new motorcycle. Honestly, I can't think of another motorcycle to get right now though, man. I love my Supermoto so much. And also my awesome Yamaha MT-07 that I recently did a build series on. I have a playlist in the top right corner if you wanna go see it. There's so many cool bikes out there, but honestly, I really don't want another super bike for the streets. I've had, you know, three of them. And I tell you, I'm tired of getting tickets. The cops love to give you tickets on those. And the last you know, in the last ticket that I got on that Aprilia Tuono that I had, I got for doing 30 miles per hour over in the park system. And uh, man, I, that could have been really bad for me, guys. But I got my Better Call Saul attorney, and he reduced it to a non traffic moving violation, zero points. And uh, whew, but I, I'm tired of pressing my luck with super bikes because all you can do on those things is just speed, just you know. And I, I'm tired of, I have way more fun on my supermoto just busting wheelies, riding up staircases and doing donuts off road, messing around here and there. And it, that's fun to me, man, you know, and cops don't bother me on my supermoto. And I really love my modded MT-07 for city riding and feeling that torque and listening to that awesome soundtrack. Yeah, baby. Right now, I'm just focused on getting the heck out of here. I'm free to do whatever I want, go anywhere I want, and I'm ready to roll, man. But I want I want you guys to leave a comment, let me know with some great places maybe I, I should go check out. Stay tuned for my trip, my future bug out van trip series, and I'll be doing motor vlogs in various locations throughout the United States. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit thumbs up, really helps my channel when you do. Hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos come out. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So until next time, catch you guys later. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.